Hello, here are three tools that totally changed my workshop. Viewers may not be too surprised to know that my favourite tool is my Festool track saw, the TS55, which I bought as part of a master's kit which came with a few extra accessories. And these were an extra blade and a 1400mm long fence. And due to the size constraints in the small off workshop, I added an extra 800mm rail. Now don't be put off by the fact I'm using Festool. This was the only power saw I had when I made this staircase at workshop number 2. I heartily recommend a track saw if you have a small workshop. It is much easier to run a saw over the piece rather than the piece through the saw, which requires twice the amount of space. Also, a track saw will let you cut different shapes in the material that you would have to use a jig or a template to cut out on a table saw. And the other benefit is plunge cuts, which safely lets you start and stop your cut. When I started to work in the small loft workshop a few years ago, I only had a jigsaw and now I've moved to this track saw, the quality of cut is perfect. Years ago, when I worked in a large professional joiner's shop, I used to operate a beam saw, which was the size and the cost of a small house. With this Festool track saw, I get the same quality cuts with a machine that I can put in a toolbox and in the boot of my car. take your cutting to the next level you need to be able to cut 90 degrees square cut after cut and to do this a track square is perfect. There are many manufacturers of such squares, Festool included, but I bought a kit from Bench Dogs. The square just clamped to the guide rail ensuring a perfect 90 degrees. The Bench Dog even has a small slide out steel part to keep your square level. The resulting cut really is perfectly square. When I bought the fence dog square it was accompanied with some dogs that screwed into the square and elevated it above the workpiece on an MFT table. The dogs also have the added benefit of being able to use the square against irregular edge pieces such as a kitchen worktop. To take advantage of this MFT mounting system, I made this fold down MFT table that creates extra space in the workshop when not in use. I made a rail support out of offcuts for the front edge and set the dust extraction system up in a way that those don't get tangled during cutting operations. So I can now make square cuts without lifting the rail and the saw on and off the workpiece. And finally, now I have a perfect cut and I have a square cut, it would be great if I could make repeatable cuts. So I added to my cross cut station this fence also by Bench Dogs that has dimensions and a flag stop. I set my Festool guide rail a couple of millimetres above the height of my stock and then I can slide the timber under the track and make repeatable cuts against the fence. I'm asked if I see a lot of breakout doing this and in reality I don't. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like these shorter format videos then please let me know. There is a video here if you would like to see more of this crosscut station.